What's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG, and you know what's coming. I have yet another booster box of X and Y9 Rage of the Broken Heavens to open up for you guys. First three boxes have been mind blowingly awesome. So, this one I am hoping will be the exact same, but of course, no expectations given how amazing those first couple boxes have been. Still looking to pull the one card that I really want, the Darker Eye EX Full Art. But uh, given our pulls from the first couple boxes, I would definitely not be disappointed if we did not pull that card. Uh, things I'm looking for in this box, really just want to complete, uh, do some work on my set. I want to pull a break that isn't Raticate. <laughs> I pulled three Raticate breaks out of my first uh, three booster boxes, so... That would be very nice to not pull Eradicate Break. Uh, I still need the regular Scizor EX, the regular Mega Gyarados EX, and the regular... I pulled the regular Espeon EX, and the regular Ho-Oh EX. Uh, I need Trevenant and Greninja Break, but and then I need pretty much all of the full arts. Um, have pulled a good number of them, but still need that. Have not pulled the Ultra Rare Gyarados, but I would prefer something like the Full Art Darkrai or the Full Art Mega Gyarados EX over that uh, Ultra Rare Gyarados, as it is amazing, but I feel like I, I would like to pull just the, uh, just the regular Full Arts. As I will try to go through this, uh, if you guys want to see more in-depth and you want to see me like say all the Pokemon names, do a more sort of slow opening, definitely go back and check out my first box opening of this set, as that's going to have what you want. I'll go a little bit slower through all the cards, uh, talk about them a bit, just say what a couple of them do, as uh, if you want more information on this set, that's definitely the place to go. There's an Aegislash Hollow. I think I've gone. I think I've gotten an Aegislash Hollow in all of my uh, all of my boxes. Aegislash and Greninja might be the hollows that I pulled the most of. All right, continuing on. There's a beautiful Frogadier. Ah, there we go. Trevenant Break. Awesome. Uh, I do not like the breaks. They're really... I just... Yeah, I don't like them. I've talk, I think I talked about it more in maybe box 2 or box 3. Um, I, I, I don't like the breaks. I think they're kind of cheesy. I don't like the gold artwork. Like, Pokemon aren't supposed to be gold. Um, that's just not right to me. Um, yeah, it just... It really doesn't work for me. The color scheme... Uh, the hollow pattern is whack. I don't know what they were thinking when they were like, yeah, let's do like some weird psychedelic. I don't know even what, but yeah. Really not a huge fan of the breaks. Uh, Greninja break being my, being the, what's, what's the uh, phrase? Least worst, shall we say? The least worst. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Where did, where did I hear that from? Top Gear, I think. They were testing a bunch of cars, and they were all like some terrible mini SUV things. And they had to find which one was the least worst. But we're here to talk about Pokemon. As we keep going through these, as I did get a card that I needed in the uh, Trevenant break, so that's awesome. Would love to get another card that I need out of this... Uh, out of this booster box, and that would mainly be a regular EX or a full art. So, uh, and if I get a full art, it's most likely going to be one that I don't have. Again, really hoping for Darkrai EX full art, as there we go, there's Mega Gyarados EX. That is awesome, as I did not have this card yet, so that is amazing. All right, so I'm doing very well out of this box so far. Both the ultra rares that I pulled have been ones that I need. So even if we don't pull a full art, still a amazing box in my opinion. 
course, on its own, a box without a full art might not be uh, might not be that good in all of your minds. But to me, when I have hopefully a regular set to complete, that's that's why I buy such large numbers of these boxes. Is one so that I can open them up, have a lot of fun doing it, and uh, two so I can complete the regular set and hopefully not have to buy just like random EX cards, like regular EX cards off of eBay or uh, attempt to trade for them um, as it's much simpler and easier and sort of worthwhile for my money to uh, buy full arts and stuff like that. Um, I mean, yeah, it costs more to buy the boxes, but I feel like in the end, with all the stuff that I'm getting out of them, plus the fun that I'm having opening them up, uh, it comes out in my favor. I mean, obviously, when you're, whenever you're buying and opening packs of cards and you're not selling every single thing, there's a beautiful Garchomp Hollow, um, or if you don't have an established way of selling everything, uh, it's, it's, it's not financially viable. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe you open up packs, maybe you get, like, fantastic pulls, and then you grade those, like, full art, amazing pulls, you grade those, then you can sell them. But, yeah, I, I just... I, I, it's sort of like a given that you're going to be losing money on, uh, when you're opening, when you're opening packs. As, unless you're, like, a massively high-volume seller, um... You really shouldn't expect to make your money back out of a booster box, as you are paying for that fun of opening. All right, continuing on here. Hope is definitely not lost for a full art. As uh, ooh, there's a nice SP on EX. We've pulled our break, and now two EXs. I did have that SP on EX, so. This is this seems to be going the way of. I, is this like the exact same order? I think it might be like the exact same order as my last couple boxes, where I pulled a break first, then an EX card, and then no, because I think I pulled a full art last or second to last out of one, and then another EX, but. Yeah. The order in this, I, I think I've pulled a break first in all of my booster boxes, and then a regular EX, and then maybe a full art. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. There's a regular Raticate, Frogadier, uh, Stantler, and Slowking for the Hollow. Down to the last four packs. I don't count the Hollow, so I don't know what's left in here. I would guess we have maybe one or two hollows left, hoping that one of them is a full art card. All of the full arts that I've gotten have come late in these boxes, so I'm definitely not a... Uh, I, I haven't lost hope for full art in this box, and neither should you as the viewer. As we got a drapey on there. Hopefully we will keep this booster box opening under 10 minutes. That would be nice. All right, got a Sigalif, Clefairy, Chikorita, Pancham, and a Dragology Hollow. That might be ten. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that was ten, but who knows? You never know. That that full art dark rhyme might just pop up. So I would definitely be a. Uh, Overjoyed if it did. All right, so we have a Scizor, uh, Palpitoad, Rattata, a Cricket Tot. Oh my God! I'm oh, no more Radicates. No more Radicates, please, please. So no full art in this box. That's definitely uh, that's not terrible, I would say, but. Uh, Oh man, pulling a Raticate break in the final pack. We'll just go through these here. Um, oh, that's that's sad. I, I am kind of a little annoyed with that, as now I have four Raticate. I pulled a Raticate break in every single booster box. This is just ridiculous. Um, all right, so I think I'll end the video there. Uh, I won't do a recap. There's not much uh, that we pulled in this box. It was too crazy. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for 
more videos.